Check it out. Check it out. Look at it. Yeah, them hairs, they popping off the face. Good morning, Tube Nation. What's good with you? You finally finna get an early morning video, man. Early morning video. Finally finish your awesome. Early morning love, and I'm not gonna do you like I did last time. Make you wait a whole two weeks for another video update. So, here we are. Had to comb that out. I cut too far in. On the neck. You know I had the best of light in here. Let me get some, let me get some light. It's the yellow light, so. Oh, yeah. Cut this on neck. So, this, this look real patchy when I don't comb it. And it feels bad, too. So, I don't, I don't know. I might have to take it down. If I, well, shoot, if I take it down, I might have to come in here. I don't want to do that. And I like this. I like I like seeing that growth. And I know you like, guys like seeing it, too. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for still supporting the videos. Thank you for still subscribing. Please share it and comment on the videos. I'm still using Wild Growth. I alternate between the two. I want to feel like my hair is dry. I still use the beard, my uh, Touch Body Works beard, beard balm. But I also still use, uh, like when my hair is dry, I feel it's drier. Because uh, I'm in I'm in a different altitude. I'm actually in West Texas right now. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about 2,000 plus above the altitude of Fort Worth. Which is where I'm from. So, you know, I just got to keep it maintained. But I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. When I comb it out, I'm loving it. When I comb it out, it's not looking as patchy. Especially, you know, in this little area right here. It looks more full. And it's getting there. And that's, it's just that process. It's getting there. And this is week eight. So, this is two solid months. of keeping at least this much real estate of my beard. Not going, not not going no further. Even though I, I come came down further than the last video I showed you, because I kind of messed up over here. I'm still keeping a fair amount of real estate, a little bit over fifty percent of real estate, which isn't bad because what happens as you as you grow this back, you can fade your beard down, unless you just really want to have your your beard all the way puffy all the way around like that. Then I, I you know be careful cutting down. Make sure you use your guard tool, set it right. Make sure you take your time, be patient. Take your time, get it right the first time. And sometimes, my, my, uh, sometimes what happens with me is I will start rushing, and I, I miss that angle a little bit, and I notice it. And so, you know, I'm a kind of perfectionist, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, bring it down. But so far, so good. I'm pretty much keeping the same line because I do work professionally, and I don't want to grow in there looking nasty, especially being a new guy. So. But that's it, good folks. Still using the same products. You know, about to get my first paycheck for my new gig, which pays very, very well. And we'll go ahead and order the, uh, a, uh, a couple beard shaping tools. One I didn't know about. One I, I really want to get and I want to try it out. And one I did know about and I want to try it out. I'm going to do two separate unboxing videos and then two separate before and after videos um, on two different weeks. Well, to, well, the before and after videos be on two different weeks. You know, I like, I like to let this go back, and hopefully, I have a tripod so I can set this up and film the whole thing in 4K and edit it down. Let you guys just kind of see all of it. And we try to make it about five, you know, five to six minutes long. You know, we do. Peace and blessings. I say. <laughs> One time for you. One time for you. Uh. Oh yeah, you see it poking up. Those. <laughs>